who doesn't love Target? <laughs> hey guys, it's Karen V and in today's video, I will be doing a Target activewear try on haul and reviewing mainly their sports bras, but also a couple of their bottoms. If you're new to my channel, I am here to help you turn your blues to hues by helping you to transform yourself from a frustrated yo-yo dieter to an empowered individual leading a colorful and confident life. Let's take this journey together using food, fitness, and mindset to help you lose the weight and finally keep it off. If you're like me, cute activewear that makes you look and feel good actually helps motivate you to work out a little more. Currently, I work from home and I work out at home. So a little trick I do sometimes is I will put my activewear on in the beginning of the day. So I'm wearing it and I'm always ready to work out. So in between work and mommying, I'm like, I'm ready to go. I just go work out. My workouts are always in the middle of chaos with my kids around and maybe my husband's home. It's just like, it's crazy, but I do it. I just do it. And I think I'm setting a good example for them as well. So that's enough backstory on me. Let's get to the active wear. What I look for in active wear, first of all, is does it catch my eye and is it cute? <laughs> Next, is it affordable? I also want it to be comfortable. I want it to be supportive and functional and flattering. I have dabbled with purchasing a few items from Target's activewear section last year and I was very happy with all the items I got. It wasn't a lot and I am going to show you those items at the end of the video because I want to show you the newer stuff first. They've caught my eye so many times whenever I go into Target and I'm like I just keep gravitating to that area so I finally pulled the trigger and decided to test out a bunch of their sports bras and a couple of bottoms. The reason I chose sports bras and bottoms because that's what's most important to me when I work out at home. A lot of times I will just work out in a sports bra. I won't wear like a full shirt. And then also leggings. Leggings are the most important. I mean, who doesn't need good leggings when they're working out? So that's all I stuck with. And to be honest, some of their other items I, I wasn't really feeling. They have outerwear. They had a lot of cute long sleeve tops, but I just didn't need that. I don't work out in long sleeve tops. They have short sleeve workout tops. Again, not something I gravitate towards, but they had a lot of cute stuff. I like sports bras and tank tops. So here we go. I'm about to show you everything. Just so you know, the brands that Target carries mainly is all in Motion, Joy Lab, and Mizuno. Everything I got is by All in Motion and Joy Lab. I didn't pick up anything by Mizuno because honestly, I'm not sure if they're in store or just online. I noticed Mizuno was online. So we're gonna start with sports bras. I did wanna make sure I reviewed low impact, medium impact, and high impact, and letting you know my thoughts and if it's worth the really great price tag. The tags are still on all of these clothes because a lot of these clothes I bought multiple sizes of because I am, I'm truly a medium, but sometimes I am a small in certain things. So being you can't try anything on in Target anymore, I just had to go nuts buying stuff knowing that I was going to return a lot of it right away. We're going to start with medium impact bras because that's what I'm wearing right now. This particular sports bra is by Joy Lab and I think it might have been the only Joy Lab item I purchased, I think. So this was $20. It's called the Strappy Back Bra in Marble and here it is. I agree it's medium impact because as you can see, you know, there is some movement but it does still have some support. So I would use this for any kind of workout, but you know, I wouldn't really use it for running or any high impact cardio. I prefer a really nice high impact bra or something like that. Here's what the back looks like. It's really beautiful. It's made of polyester and spandex. It's, it is supportive. It's very stylish. We've got a lot of coverage on the side. I don't know, this one's, this one's just a big winner for me and for 20 bucks, I highly recommend this one. This is the bra that I love. It is by All In Motion and it's their seamless sports bra and it comes in a few different colors. I love this bra so much, I've been wearing it forever. Let me show you the back. Okay, now what I love most is that the straps are adjustable. I absolutely love adjustable straps. It does come with removable cup pads, but for this bra, I took them out a long time ago. I don't even know where they are but this bra is super supportive even when you take the cup pads out. It's $16, you cannot beat that. They have black, white, I think I saw about four different colors in store. I honestly, I was like, I just want them all, but I, I contained myself and I didn't get any more because this one's working out just fine. It says on the website, it's made of a moisture wicking fabric. I did get a size medium in this. It's very true to size. 
This bra is what I was actually most excited to tell you guys about because I've had it for so long. Highly, highly recommend this. I actually ran into a new mom in the Target activewear section the first time I went and she was looking right there in that area and I was like, listen, you gotta get that bra. I'm telling you, you're going to like it. So I would pick this one up for sure in every color. <laughs> this one's called the Bonded Racerback Bra and wow, this is another winner for me because look how smooth this is. It's so, so smooth. Here's the back. This would work nicely underneath the tank top, which I'm going to test out for you because I picked up one tank top at Target, but this is seriously smooth. Now I got a size medium in this. Here's the test. Definitely giving me that medium support. I love this bra so much. And this bra is $20. Let's put it on underneath a tank top I picked up. This is also by All in Motion. This is really, really beautiful. I am gonna put it on right now for you guys on top of this bra so you can see just how smooth the bra looks underneath the tank top. It's called the Fitted Tank with Bra. I am having a hard time finding this on the website, so I'm gonna deep dive into it a little bit more later, but I did just find this on store on display and I believe they had it in black and uh, a light pink. So it's $20, very spandexy, very smoothing. The shelf bra in there really adds the support. So like here, I would feel a little more comfortable doing like high impact cardio in this combination of the medium support bra with the tank top. I'm loving this tank top. This is what I like to work out in this kind of stuff. You know, I'm not like a big baggy workout kind of girl. Like I like to have everything fitted on me so I can just kind of see what's going on with my muscles. But I highly recommend this tank top. I love it so much. And like I said, the bra underneath, like it's, it's so smooth. Like you can't really see it. You're just good to go with, with this combination. So, uh, so far, a lot of wins here, okay? But there are some misses that I will get to later. Now we're moving into low impact sports bras. And this is where I started to see all the cuteness. And I was like, why do they have to be so cute and low impact? Can't they be cute and high impact? It's on clearance. It was originally $16, but it's on clearance for I think $13.60. Sorry if you hear my son screaming out there. <laughs> but anyway, this has a shimmer. So I don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera. I really don't know but I'll try to get some footage later showing you how shimmery it is and like a, a better light. But yeah, this is low impact, but I don't know. It's it's pretty good for low impact, you know? It's kind of getting into medium a little bit. I mean, this, this is too cute, right? Again, it's made of a moisture wicking fabric. It has removable padding. Something I don't like about sports bras is when they are not adjustable. Like this one does not have adjustable straps, but like, <laughs> What are you gonna do? And I think if you're paying a small price, you know, like the cost of this bra is just so low that like I'm okay with it not having the adjustable straps. My most perfect bra ever for sports bras would be no removable cup pads. It would be like a built-in padding that just like stays in place and adjustable. That that would be perfection for me, but it doesn't happen all that much. This is the last low impact bra I'm gonna review and it's called the brushed back V-neck bra. Here is the back. This is the same price as the one that I just showed you guys. This is also $16 on clearance for $13.60. What I will say about this low impact bra is that it is in fact low impact, okay? The, the blue one I just tried on has a little bit more support than this one. I don't know if you guys could tell, but like I, I can just tell this, this is not that supportive, but it is seriously cute. This also does have removable cut padding, which this is so thin. You can kind of see the pads through it, but I don't think you could take the pads out of this. Not that you can't, but I don't think you want to because it's definitely a thinner material. And I think if you remove these cut pads, like then you're, I don't know, you just have a sleep bra at this point. So I would keep these pads in. The straps are not adjustable, but again, it is a much cheaper bra, but it's just so darn cute. So I recommend it. You know, it could be good for yoga, stretching. I mean, even lifting weights if you want. Like, honestly, all these bras work for anything as long as you're not doing high impact cardio. It's got a nice feel to it, but like, it's not spandexy. I, I feel like it's made of cotton, okay? Like, I feel like this is just loaded with cotton and like maybe a little bit of spandex. So I'll also confirm that for you. I'll always make sure I have all the details for you guys, whether it's on screen or in the description box, okay? Or me telling you. <laughs> <laughs> now we head into the high support bras. I picked up two. 
and the first one is a miss for me, okay? Only because I don't think it's high support. I think it's a solid medium support. This one's called the High Support Bonded Bra, again by All In Motion. I'll back up here so you guys could see it. Now, it's beautiful. I'll come up close so you guys can see it. It's a beautiful bra. It's adjustable, but mm, it doesn't give me high impact and it is $30. So I will be bringing this back sadly. Like I like it, I do, but I wanted high support and I have medium support already, okay? So here's what I mean. You know, like it's not the worst. Like it's, it's slightly better than their medium support, but like when I hear high support, like that means I don't wanna move. I don't want these ladies moving around but it's not a miss in terms of being a good sports bra, a good medium support sports bra. So if you wanna pay 30 bucks for it, go ahead. Here's what it looks like in the back. And just for reference, I did get a size small in this. I know that a medium would definitely be too big and would be even worse with the support. Here's our coverage, not bad. So this bra actually has like, like a typical clasp in the back that like normal bras have. So that's cool that you could tighten that. It feels really comfortable in the setting that I have right now. So I just tried to adjust this to see if the support would get a little higher. I adjusted my straps, even though it felt super comfortable. I did make them tighter to see if it would create a little more support. And I'm still bouncing around. Like I feel supported. I don't think I'm gonna fall out. And like my boobs don't feel like heavy or anything. Like I'm not going anywhere. It's just that they are still bouncing. And like I said, when I look for high support, like I just don't want to move. I want like serious high support, you know? Okay, last bra of this activewear haul. And this one is so much better if you're looking for high support. It's called the zip front bra, okay? So it's so cute. It's got this little zip. You could unzip the whole thing and it'll come off, okay? <laughs> but this has support and it's got adjustable straps. <laughs> So here's what the back looks like. This feels very spandexy, polyester-y. It's very supportive. Like I am not moving nearly as much. I I think I would run in this. Yeah, I would run in this. And this one's only $24. It's actually cheaper than the high support one I just tried on that didn't have high support. This is the winner. If you want a high support sports bra from Target, you need the front zip one. I think this is the only pattern they have and then they also have black. Something to also know is that like, what you see in store is not always what's online. Like online, they're always out of stock of certain things, but if you go to the store, there's like so much. So my experience was all in store, okay? Just so you know, if you go online and you're like, oh my gosh, they don't have my size or they're out, just run to your local Target. Another thing I like about this is, this one actually doesn't come small, medium, large, all that. It comes in your actual bra size. So I did pick up the 36C. I didn't see anything else I would wanna try. I was like, if 36C doesn't work, then I'm not getting it because that is my bra size. I feel like I just have a little bit of extra cup room in there. I'm not a B cup, but like sometimes I feel like I'm a small C. Anyway, this is fine because the amount of room I have in the cup is, is really not a big deal to me at all. These leggings that I picked up are called the Ultra High Rise Legging. Now, I typically don't like ultra high rise. I'm okay with like a high rise and a mid rise, but this was the one that had the cute pattern. <laughs> so that's why I picked these up. So they are very cute. Like, I don't know what kind of pattern this is, but I just think it's super cute. Kind of goes with the top. And you can see it really comes up high. It does have like this little elastic waistband, but it's not the kind that cuts into you. As you can see, it flatters me and it's very smoothing in the belly area. That's like my little area that I, I don't like to say that I don't like it. I love my body wholly, okay? But if there's one area I'm not really big on it, it is the lower belly area because I do have loose skin from pregnancy. So um, this is really, really smoothing. It's so comfortable. I mean, they've got that whole spandexy feel going on. Here's the back. There's the butt. I, I can't believe I'm doing this for you guys. I never in a million years would have thought I'd be making videos like this. <laughs> So I like how this line kind of cuts like kind of right in the middle of like my, my problem area <laughs> and it's just flattering. This is just a very, very flattering legging. I love it. These are a win for me. And just so you guys know, Target has a lot of leggings. There are so many different 
fits. It's crazy. They've got full length. They've got seven eighth length. They've got capris. They've got a lot of black. And I did see they had a whole table full of all these really cute patterns. Like you can find what you need at Target in terms of leggings. Okay. And you're not going to pay like the 50, 60, $70 price that sometimes you do on these online fitness apparel companies websites. These are $35, which I think is extremely reasonable. I am cool with $35 price tag. And I did pick up a medium because I never really am a small in bottoms. So these leggings work for me. I'm so, so impressed. And I do have a pair that I also bought last year that are very, very similar. And I've been wearing them a ton. This is the pair of leggings that I bought over the summer. I didn't see this in store, but if I could find these on the website, I will definitely let you guys know about it. I'm very happy with these as well. And I think I got these for like 20 something dollars, max 30. I'm going to try to read the label and see if I can figure out which ones these are so I can link them. But if not, all the leggings at Target, they're all just so similar to each other. They just have a little bit of like different lengths. Um, some of them are not as tapered at the bottom. Some of them are just called like straight leg instead of like hugging the ankle. Um, high rise, mid rise, like I said, uh, curvy, contour, power. They, they've got all sorts that I know you guys could find what you need. My confidence in Target leggings is sky high. The last thing I'm going to try on for you guys, I'm like tired. <laughs> the last thing is the high rise joggers. Like I, I like a nice pair of joggers. So I thought I'd give them a shot. I don't know how I feel about these. Um, I grabbed a medium in the cream color and a small in the green. So uh, I tried them on once. Let's see how we feel about them today. Okay. So, okay. What I like is that they're not digging into my waist. Drawstring, um, I guess I'm fine with it. Let's give that a little tie. All right, we're gonna look from the side. Now, what I don't like is how baggy the butt is. Like, I'm not into the baggy butt. And then like the crotch is like all down here. Like, I don't know. I mean, I know joggers are not supposed to be hugging you and tight and all that. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't think I'm feeling these. Let me show you the bottom. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure that these are the winning jogger for me. Final item I'll be trying on for you guys is the size small jogger in green. It's a little tighter here. You know, like I said, I'm not normally a small. Um, I, I don't like how it feels here. This area, it's not really flattered in these pants. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not used to joggers. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I need your help. <laughs> the size small is definitely more flattering here. Um, but you know, I carry all my weight in my midsection. So that's why I'm like, I wish this was a little more comfortable. You know, I I'm thinking that these just aren't the joggers for me, but I know that there's joggers out there that I would love to explore. My final feelings on these joggers is the mediums were much more comfortable, but they're like way too baggy on me. And the smalls, they're not as comfortable, but I think they look a little better. So I don't know. I just think that these particular joggers are just not for me, but you know, they could work for you because we all have different body types. So that's, that's it. <laughs> so that concludes my Target activewear haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I gave you a little taste of what you can find at Target. Lots of sports bras to choose from. I mean, there's so much more than what I even tried on for you. I just pick what looked like something that I would enjoy and I thought you guys would really appreciate the review on the low, high, and impact bras and then also I'm telling you the leggings you can find great leggings at Target. I know it. Overall, I'm going to say Target is a great place to shop for some active wear. If you don't want to spend a lot of money, you cannot really go wrong there. They've got lots of other stuff as well. Oh, I also forgot to show you guys real quick. I've been wearing these tank tops so much. They are from Target. These are super cute. They don't carry them anymore, but they have like just newer versions of stuff like this. I like these because they're ribbed, but these are identical tank tops. They're by All in Motion. I got them really cheap and like I wear them all the time. Right now I saw they have tank tops that are not ribbed, but they're very similar, you know, very similar cuts. Um, all sorts of tank tops. They're like way cheap now too. I think they got somewhere like $6. They got some crazy sales going on. This is an older sports bra from Target. 
this matches the leggings so but just so you know like they, they do get new stuff frequently but like I said that one sports bra that I bought last year is still there so because they probably know it's it's probably a bestseller you know so I'm glad that they're keeping it and I'm glad that they have different colors so overall I would say Target is an amazing place to go to shop for affordable activewear you can find stuff okay you don't need to spend a lot of money on workout clothes or activewear they have everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for more videos from me about food, fitness, and mindset, and I will see you next week. Okay. So yeah, guys, what's up? Oh. And here and me. Hmm. Wait, there's more. Ah! Oh, here are the bra pads. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I need those bra pads. Oh, when it's big old. Okay, I chose an outfit. Okay. Okay, I chose. I'm gonna choose an outfit. What's your favorite outfit? Oh, oh I, I I love that one. That Sparkly. shimmery one. That's right. <laughs> and then my favorite pants are these. Oh, my yeah. favorite bra pads are these. <laughs> <laughs> Spin me on bras. Spin me on bras.